Hello and welcome back. So in this video we are discussing another very important topic from American literature that is Harlem Renaissance and literary representations of race. So without wasting any time let us get started with the topic itself. So first of all let us discuss what was Harlem Renaissance. So the Harlem Renaissance was basically a big celebration of black culture in America happening roughly between 1919 to 1935. It all started in Harlem, a part of New York City. Back then, black writers and artists were bursting with creativity, and their stories and crea- uh, creations, especially the writing, became a really strong voice for their community. This was a time for black people to re- to reimagine how they were seen in America. Writers like Langston Hughes and Claude McKay. started showing black characters in their books as complex and interesting people not just silly stereotypes they also wrote about the rich traditions and ways of speaking that black folks had celebrating their heritage instead of hiding it life in harlem wasn't always easy and the writers didn't shy away from that either they talked about the struggles of facing racism and not having the same opportunities at the white folks Many black people had also moved north from the south looking for a better life and that journey and its challenges were also written about in the black writings this movement by black artists for was really important it gave them a chance to tell their own stories on their own terms it also paved the way for future generations of black writers and artists to keep creating and expressing themselves even though there were some disagreements among the artists themselves and some people felt that the stories did not cover all the experiences the harlem renaissance left a big big impact or a big mark on american history it showed the power of creativity and how important it is for people to be able to tell their own stories so now let us move ahead and discuss some of the central themes of harlem renaissance So the Harlem Renaissance was all about black people in America celebrating their own identity and culture. Back then there was uh, these silly ideas about black folk uh, floating around and these writers said no way that's not us. So these writers were protesting about their representation in the mainstream literature. They wanted to show the world who black people really were. They were proud complex people with a rich history. Uh, this feeling of pride spread like a wildfire making black folks hold their heads high and celebrate their roots whether they were africans or american did, it did not matter they were celebrating their own roots things uh, were not all sunshine and rainbow always black people in america lived between two worlds their black heritage and being american so there was always this uh, a kind of dilemma between their black heritage and being this new american uh, citizen this could be confusing like trying to judge two mangoes at once uh, the writers understood this struggle and wrote stories about characters who grappled with it too so they also try to uh, portray some characters who gone through who uh, who were going through the same kind of dilemma between two identities so uh, life wasn't a fair either racism was everywhere keeping black people separate and pushing them down the writers did not uh, ignore this they wrote about the harsh realities of facing prejudice not having the same opportunities as the white people and just trying to make the ends meet especially for those who had moved north from uh, from the south for a such a better life so now let us see how was the literary representation of black people during the harlem renaissance so the writers of the harlem renaissance were not going to let anyone to tell them how to be black they threw away the old fake ideas about black people and created characters who were real and interesting with their own dreams problems and personalities folks like uh, people like langston hughes and claude mckay showed black characters in all their complexity just like any other person you had met uh, you would meet on the street these writers also celebrated the unique way black folks spoke and the rich traditions they carried with them they used everyday language in their stories the kind you would hear 
people speak at home instead of fancy words nobody used. They also wrote about music, storytelling and other traditions that made black culture so special. Harlem uh, Renaissance wasn't always Harlem wasn't always easy to live. Uh, the writers did not uh, sugarcoat things. They showed the struggle of living in a place where people looked down on you because because of your skin color. They wrote about the lack of opportunities that black people had and the daily grind of trying to make a living, especially for those who had come from the north. Uh, in the south, uh, come come uh, from the south to the north, chasing for a better life. This movement of black people from south uh, to the north was a fresh start, uh, because was a fresh start in the becoming their big work. So let us now discuss who were the key figures of this uh, movement, both in literature and in art in general. So the Harlem Renaissance wasn't just a feeling; it was a movement filled with talented creators. Some of the most important ones were writers who told stories in different ways. There were novelists like Zora Neale Hurston who wrote the famous book, Their Eyes Were Watching God. Nella Larson's book, Passing, was another great one. And Claudia McKay, uh, Claudia McKay wrote a novel called Home to Harlem, a f- uh, uh, all filled with stories about black experiences. Uh, poets like Langston Hughes used beautiful words to paint pictures. His poem, I Too Sing America, is a powerful statement. County Cullen's poem, Heritage, explored black roots and Claudia McKay. And Claudia McKay used his words to capture the complexities of Harlem life in Harlem shadows. Uh, plays were another way... Uh, Plays were another way uh, stories were told. Uh, Langston Hughes wrote plays too, uh, like Mulatto. Later on, Lorraine Hansberry's play, A Raisin in the Sun, became a big hit, both showing the struggles and dreams of black people and black families. These are just a few of the many talented artists who helped uh, bring the Harlem Renaissance into the life. So lastly, let us now discuss what was the impact of this movement of Harlem Renaissance. So uh, the Harlem Renaissance was a turning point for black writers. It wasn't just about stories anymore. It was about taking charge. Black writers finally had a platform to tell their own stories and in their own way. They weren't going to let, let the others define who they were. This feeling of empowerment spread like wildfire paving the way for future generations of black artists and writers to keep creating and expressing themselves freely. The impact wasn't limited to uh, just books and plays. The movement sparked a fire for for the change in the society. People saw the struggle of black people who face it every day and uh, they had written it out loud in this particular moment. And this awareness helped to fuel the fight for racial equality, inspiring people to stand up for their rights. Uh, the Harlem Renaissance wasn't just a literary movement, it was a movement for social change as well. So that's all we have for this particular video. I hope you have understood at least some part of this uh, particular discussion. If you have any doubts, you can ask them in the comment section. And if you want us to cover some more topics from American literature, please comment them down. Thank you so much for watching.